So now we're going to talk about why we do what we do when we're doing RSI. Okay? These are the reasons. Everything we do has a reason. Okay? It's not because it's, oh, it's Tuesday, let's give these drugs. Alright? <laughs> okay. So, tell me how we're going to avoid or identify a, an esophageal intubation. Okay. First and foremost, right? Right? And the other things are the, the PD cap. Right? And you always want a knitted PD cap, right? <laughs> That's my, I don't know if y'all heard that story. It's my favorite story. It was Susan Ray and I forgot who else. And the kid was coding. And they get there, and the outside hospital had already been coding the kid for a while. Okay, so the team pulls up, and the first thing they, they're going to do is assess the airway. Okay, so first thing Susan Ray does is to ask them if they checked it with a, with a PD cap. Okay, and they and they said what, and she and then she's re clarifying herself, so she says, "Do you have a PD cap?" <laughs> okay, so they looked at her, and then somebody runs off, and she's like going. What's going on? And they come back with a little. <laughs> okay, so visualized cords. All right, that's the number one. All right, and so in general, that has to do with your. Okay, skill or technique. All right. Okay. All right. Bradycardia. Why do they get bradycardic, and what? Okay. All right, it's just a vagal response from shoving this lovely metal object into your pharynx. Okay, so how do we prepare to avoid or treat? All right. ICP. What does that have to do with intubating? It doesn't have to do with PCO2. Use too much vagus nerve gag reflex is going to increase ICP. Well, again, it's just it's it's the it's the stimulus in general of somebody shoving a big blade down your pharynx. All right. So how do we protect against that being a problem? Would you like for me to walk up to you and show the big blade down your throat right now, or would you rather have a little burst of fentanyl? Okay. Adequate sedation. Right? to avoid using brutane, okay? It's not just because it's nice. I mean, it is nice, but, all right? But there's a very there's very specific reasons why we do what we do, okay? So sedation and clearly technique and what else? Position. Yes. What's the most important part to ensure your success at any procedure? Right? right, having proper patient position, all right? You try to do an LP with a person like this, are you gonna be very successful? Okay, all right, and when you're doing any procedure, position is Okay, pneumothorax, how do you avoid, prepare for that, avoid it, or treat it? Okay. M with the little line is measuring. All right? What else? Proper size equipment. Mm -hmm. ah. 
be more more specific. Don't use a bag because twice as big as the paper. All right. So proper title volume, right, which reflects your proper name. All right. Right name stem. When? After the two is in, you've been bagging for five minutes? No. Before you pass through the course. Okay, all right. So always think about what depth you're going to go to. When you take that blade into your hands, what's your one and only job? Visualize the cords. Okay, so before you take that blade in your hand, you should already know what your depth is. Okay, and if you share that with your partner, right, if you go, okay, you know, it's a three tube, so I'm going to go into nine, all right, then they can help you, right, after you get it in and you're trying to make sure, you know, you're watching, you're carefully getting your blade out so they're hooking up. They can also help you make sure that your depth is correct, right? So you calculate before So you want suction ready, meaning hooked up and on, all right, and right beside your hand, okay, all right, so that's, oh, excuse me, that's how you would respond, all right, how do we avoid, what things do you do? Very careful that you take Okay. Well, but what about what about the technique? P positioning, pressure, speed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, anything else that we can do? So tripod pressure. Okay. What's that called? So so it's it's so and again, I can't spell. I just make this up. As it's all. That's how I remember it, but I actually think it's spelled. <laughs> okay. All right. How about learning a spasm? Okay. Okay. All right. So what do you do? Because we don't always have to paralyze the patient. All right. If you can add, you know, it depends on what's going on. But what are your two options? What do you do when you're sitting there, you see the cords, here you come with your tube, you, you touch them and boom, or even before you touch them, they slam shut. What do you do? Use the tip. Absolutely not. What do you do? Okay, all right, positive pressure. Okay, we'll, we'll sometimes relieve it or you're able to break through it. Okay, all right, what else? Okay, if you haven't given the paralytic, that's what the paralytic is for. Okay, so even if you don't give the paralytic, all right, when I'm intubating someone, I have it there and drawn up and ready. All right, because I'm telling you, if you ever want to sweat, get grossly tachycardic and hypertensive, you have this happen to you, all right? The patient goes down like a freaking rock and they don't come back, all right? So have your drug dose calculated, have it drawn up, have it ready, okay? All right, what about safe spying precautions? Okay, cool. 